Hello, my name is David and this is the Numismatic Minute. And today, uh, you can see it in the thumbnail. You can see it in the title. What's in the box? So several months ago, I came home from work and it was a particularly rough day. Uh, and I come inside and I sit down at the kitchen table and my wife brings to me and sets down on the table this box and says, Honey, I know you had a hard day. My grandfather gave this to me a long time ago. And I've just left it sitting in my sock drawer. I, you know I don't like coins that much. So I thought, because you had a rough day, maybe this will cheer you up. I'll give this to you. Okay, so, so what is it in my mind? I'm thinking it's probably a silver eagle. It's an 86 silver eagle that that would make sense or, or 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 a 90s or an older one ounce chunk of silver well i was right about one thing only one uh, it is a chunk of silver and i have absolutely no idea what it is no clue whatsoever so a call to action is what this video is if you're seeing it this is a call to action. We gotta figure out what this is. We gotta figure out where it's from. Uh, I have been able to find out very, 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 did I say very? Very little about this particular piece. And there's some obvious things already. The Texas Centennial, right? This is patterned after the Texas Centennial commemorative half dollar. We can all see that. If you are familiar with the uh, commemorative half dollar, the Texas commemorative, that is obviously what this is. Uh, in fact, there's very, very, very little difference. Uh, it seems to be a cameo proof The around the edges. The Texas Independence Centennial, uh, remember the Alamo, has a proof field with the devices, the lettering being cameoed or frosted. And then there's the reverse, which has a huge, uh, huge open sections in the field, just like the commemorative, but it has a difference. And maybe, maybe seeing this and, and, and reading this will help with the size of the chunk of silver. This is one pound of silver patterned after the Texas commemorative half dollar. And you can, you can already see the, the proof fields and the very uh, cameoed and frosted devices on there from what one would assume is 1986. Now this is one pound of 999 pure silver. What it does not say is one pound Troy. There's a reason for that. This thing is 16 ounces. This is more than a pound troy of silver. This is a full-on pound. Like somebody steps on a scale and find out how much they weigh after eating way too much pizza. Yeah, this is a pound of silver, and it is far heavier than I thought it was going to be when I picked it up. This is the original plastic wrap. From what I can tell, there's no openings in it. Totally sealed. I don't know about the box. I have no idea what's going on with the box. If that was just something that it was put in or if that was the box that it came in. I don't know. There's nothing else with it. I can, with it, I can only assume that the box is just kind of a gift box and that this was taken out of whatever it was originally in as far as its case. But here you are, a called, oh, one more thing. Totally forgot about this. There's a serial number. There is a serial number right here. And I'll, I'll try and get it so we can see it without. There we go, a little better. Maybe we can, I'll probably lose my focus for the rest of the video. 1978. And that is a serial number, that 1978. I've only found a few others that is like this. 
Uh, some apparently do not have the proof-like fields uh, on the reverse of the coin and don't have the proof uh, fields that are behind the, uh, the lettering on the very front of the coin. It's, this is not a coin. The front of this huge chunk of pound silver, uh, but this one does, and they seem to have serial numbers. Mine is the lowest that I personally have seen as far as the serial number. I have no idea what the mintage is. I have no idea who minted it. I found it was an article with an auction company that seemed to indicate that this may be Australian in origin as far as the uh, the silver and where it was where it was made. I don't know. I can't find anything else about it. So, again, call to action. If anybody knows anything about this, if anybody is willing to take some time and do some research, I know I have and I've turned up completely empty. Feel free to do so and drop it in the comments section below. If you're interested in seeing anything else in weird boxes that you don't know what they are, I'm sure I'll find something else to put up here. Go ahead and hit subscribe. And if you like the mystery and are interested in solving it, go ahead and like the video. Thank you very much for watching. As I said before, my name is David, and this has been the Numismatic Minute.